Hallo, hallo, hallo. Ich habe einfach mal Glases hier. <lacht> Man. Are we live? No clue. Have man. a look on YouTube. Yeah. Hello there, friends. It seems. It seems we are. Yes, is it? Yeah. Wait, maybe switch us around so that when we're looking at each other. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, wait. This is why this OBS does this different. Maybe because it's a Skype, like my also my quality is not as as great. I see it very good, you know. <laughs> hey yo. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Can people hear us? I don't even know if they can hear you, you know. Oh, they, they can. Can they? Yeah. Okay. I just, the last thing I need to find out is how the stream is working. Uh, the, 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 the chat. Hello, Mariam. Well, I can see the chat. I can see that Mariam. Yes. How are you doing? Building. She says, hey, what is up? Hello, Christopher. How are you doing? Yeah, we're trying out OBS. What is so, up, E1M1? Yeah, I think your quality Patrick this time is in the is chat it, as well. It's better, isn't it? Oh, way better, but still not as crisp as yours. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's okay. Or not? I need to try to get the chat in here. It's okay. How do you actually... I've just lowered my seat so that I can be on the same level as you. So I can be another 180 <laughs> boy instead of... How do you even... How do you watch boy. the stream yourself? Is it just that you are in... Uh... I'm just watching it. I'm just on YouTube on my, my personal account. <laughs> <laughs> just locked in. <laughs> yeah, look. We can now go on like... Oof. <laughs> yes, true. You MZ says Slava Romania. What is up? National Day was yesterday. <laughs> oh, it's just me for a second over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was National Day, which is which is quite an awesome uh experience. Yeah, a lot of people celebrate. Tell us, if you're inside a chat and you're Romanian, tell us, how did you celebrate National Day yesterday? What did you spend time doing? Did you spend time uh, with your friends? Did you go out? Did you do anything? Did you watch our video, which actually came out yesterday as well? We had a video where we were talking about, uh, where we interviewed some Romanian people and asked them how they thought, um, or what they thought the best thing about being Romanian was. Did you watch that video? Did you? It was an awesome video, so... Check it out and, and tell us. Christopher Turtle says, you guys' channel is so underrated. It is. Thank you so much for realizing that. <laughs> Thank you. We do our best. <laughs> um, Mishiki Chrissy, Chrissy says, wow, I'm early. You are. You are very, very early. MZ is from... Wait, let me have a look at this. This thing. Oh, uh... Are you from Moldova or Andorra? Which one? I can't see. It's too close. It's too far away. Uh, Mishki Chrissy says, yes, I even commented. Okay, give me one second. I will figure out who, what you commented. One second. Let me check my phone. I will be back, guys. I just uh, I just put in the uh, the thumbnail. Yeah, we are still figuring yeah, out. David's, David's a little ghost. <laughs> I know I'm back here now. <laughs> I'm even without my glasses, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Mishiki Chrissy. I'm looking for your comment. Yeah. You better have commented. Oh, okay. I see it. I love your culture. I love our culture and that we're still traditional and modest people. Yes. The most, the most popular piece of clothing that we have 
um, won't ever go out of fashion and our food is really tasty. Other countries don't have the concept of sour soup, chorba. And I think it's a shame. It's amazing, especially in cold weather, to have a nice hot chorba. Yes. Fantastic. Great comment. It is. Let me, let me reply to you right now. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's also a fact I like that Romania is still like, yeah, sticking up to, to their traditions. I think it's, it's a great thing be honest with you guys yes awesome uh e1m1 says yes sarmale to infinity that's one of your favorite things about romania fantastic that's one of my favorite things about romania as well <laughs> everyone um, was just like sarmale, sarmale. everyone yeah everyone when we asked them what's your favorite thing they said food and we didn't even need to ask them but when we asked them what is your favorite food of course it's going to be sarmale yeah yeah now, MZ says, oh, Moldova, haha. <laughs> For me, Moldova is Romania. It's it's the same. Yeah, we think the same. Moldova, Romania. Yeah. Brothers in arms, I would say. Yes. Uh, Meriam says... Are we back? Uh, you were gone. No. I was fully... Oh, yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. now you're just a small Am square. I back Can you see? Really? <laughs> I am back. I am back. I am back. I think I am. But I'm a tiny square now. Yeah. You're trying to edit me to get me back bigger now. Are you like three times? I see. Are you like double. Okay. Ooh, Mishki says uh, I'm doing some magic. I am. I am. Um, we're working things out. Last stream was was a bit of a mess. However, this stream it seems what? like it's the quality of my camera and everything is much better now. What is going on? Uh, MZ says, thanks. Your channel, I like it. But my question, David, are you German? David, answer the lady. Are you German? Are you not? David's too busy trying to figure out how to make me bigger and smaller. David is German. He's half German, half Algerian. Why am I so much bigger than you in this? <laughs> I hear you doubled. <laughs> Really, on the stream, I'm, uh, I'm heard just singular. Ah, uh, okay, bro. Can you talk? I I'm can. <sighs> Guys, trust me. Are you calling no, me? No, but well those streams, through? man, it's 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 ridiculous. If you have to set up the stream, basically, I had you three times. I had you on Skype. I had you in the streaming software and in the live stream that I just opened to check if everything is working. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, it just becomes a mess and you're just like wait like what's going on but now i have it okay okay the rest is muted so and i was gonna quit the live stream ah okay it's just the S. oh she speaks no, german wait, wait one second welcome to david south german wait, i have to get my wait do... oh, man this is such a mess why comes to mz I want to see the stream. How is one, one second, one second. I will be there. Mer okay, whilst, whilst David's getting ready, Miriam <laughs> asks, do you, who do you think is going to win out of Brazil? So just before the slide, 20, 20 seconds or so, and I saw that Cameroon had a chance. If you guys don't know, I'm originally Cameroonian, so my, that's my nationality. Um, yeah. Yeah. But that won't change anything. Yeah, no, like, guys. I mean, whether Cameroon wins or not, <laughs> Brazil are still going through. Yeah. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Are you back? Yes, I am. I'm... Stuttgart. Ah, okay. Stuttgart. Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. I'm from. I'm actually. I am from South Germany. Originally from Leo of Cologne. I was born in Bonn. But I spent most of my time in school and of my youth in Bavaria. Yeah, I think... She said she could tell by your accent. What? You're South what? German. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe just uh, 
from the hat that I was wearing today in the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Today, guys, today we, we had an interesting day. Christmas market here in Bucharest, which was awesome. Um, yeah. And we're dressed kind of funny as well. I had my British blinders. I had my, I had my Peaky Blinders hat on. Wait, I can maybe grab it for you. Wait, one second, guys. <laughs> Oi, oi, Savaloi. What's up, guys? What's happening? Oi, 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 I just oi. had to put on my glasses. <laughs> Bro, your camera. I don't know what's wrong with your camera. Oi, oi, Savaloi. We can't Savaloi, see you. Oi. Yeah, so we were wearing this. What, what am know. I going again? I didn't do anything. I just changed the scenes. Hello. <laughs> oh, this live stream is a mess. It's live. Yeah. And now you're again a small picture, like a small frame. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, explain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we went to the to the Christmas market. I had this hat on. David had a, a lovely German um, hat on. Yeah. So I could yeah. roast it two times. You guys watch the story. Maybe like you can tell from asking that. me if I'm a hunter. Yeah. Even, like, bro, you don't even know. When I came back home and I just bought some water in the store, I was asked as well. <laughs> really? Yes. Who asked you? The, yes. Who? The person who knew you? Yeah. She said, are you hunting? Yeah, she today? was like, are you going to hunt? Like, are you a hunter? <laughs> <laughs> just people roasting me. Uh oh gosh yeah i'm just re reading the comments yeah yeah i knew it who you think is gonna blah blah, blah. esslingen am neckar it's close to stuttgart yes 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 i know mm. i went to the mariam says i went to <laughs> they had a dance battle <laughs> and dancing um yeah, what kind of, what kind of, what do you mean dance battle? Was it break dancing? Was it, uh, was it normal Brazilian funk dancing? What was it? I like dance battles, man. <laughs> yeah, Forza is a big fan of Step Up, of the movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't know what's wrong with your, man, your camera has to chill out, you know? But on Skype, when I'm on Skype, it just looks so normal. Yeah. But everything just, else is just like, it's going crazy. Yeah, just, man, it's just getting big and then I have to scale it down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Serbia, MZ says Serbia is from WM, Orthodox Brothers and Best Neighbor. Yeah, so we were, we officially on paper, we've been to Serbia. We've been in Serbian territory. Um but not fully. We went to Orshova and we went out into um, the lake. And so from one side of the lake, we're in Serbia. On the other side of the lake, we're in Romania. So I can officially say I've been to Serbia <laughs> and Serbia was absolutely beautiful. Yes, it was cool. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa. Now you guys see what I see the whole crazy, time. Crazy, crazy. Now it should be better. Let's see if it works better now. Okay, what is up with you guys? Hello? In you yet? Hello? No. Now you're back. Now you are back. Was I gone for a second? And again, your what? screen is just black. Bruh. Yeah, this is the streaming is the next level <laughs> thing, you know. Hello? Am I back yeah. now? Yeah. Okay, yeah, guys. 
maybe you can hear me from from the dark depths from the abyss tell me are you guys uh are you guys enjoying your first couple of days of december you know we have the christmas lights and everything we've got the celebrations up everybody's amped and ready uh to get going how is your christmas preparations going have you guys been to the christmas markets in your con- in your city or in your country yet have you uh, we just went to christmas market today it was yes. fantastic you should guys go yes, visit right tell us you yeah. want to hear Mariam says, okay, there's an Arab tradition dance group against Brazilian dance group. It was funny because of how the different styles are, but Qatar is buzzing right now. It's so sad though. Oh, Mariam, are you in Qatar at the moment? Hey. Oh, excuse me. Mariam says, oh, from the deaths, I live here and I don't know, uh, and I even know that they really covered up. Yeah, it's really unfortunate, to be honest the amount of de- deaths that there have been, casualties in terms of building the infrastructure for this uh, crazy event that probably shouldn't ever have happened in Qatar uh, this year. It's really sad. It is really, really sad. And we should never, ever forget um, the lives of, of that have been lost uh, to make this event come to pass. <laughs> and that just... said, guys, thanks for the mini talk. Have a lovely evening. Ich... Oh, ich sitze in, ich sitz in der Bahn und höre Uhren. I'm sitting in the Bahn. Was ist Bahn, David? Uh, like train. Oh, Autobahn. Okay, I'm sitting in the train yes. and I'm hearing you. Okay, MZ. Fantastic. See you soon. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Yeah, Cheers. I think now the live stream here is working because I, I realized in the other scene I was still sharing the screen record as well. I think that was bugging it out, so that doesn't work for us until we actually upgrade okay. to a bigger computer. <laughs> now, Mishiki, the awesome guy or lady, I don't know who it is. Is it Where do you actually have you the guy? stream? The awesome person. I have it on YouTube, so I'm lagging a bit when I'm reading everything. Um, Mishki says, have you eaten or drunk something good at the Christmas hmm, market? Knows? Yeah, David, a lot of good stuff, you, a lot, uh, a lot of good stuff. And it's actually, we were there to film a food tour on the Christmas market and that gonna, yeah, that's why we yes, can't say we too can't, much, but you're going to see it on the main channel soon. Uh, yeah, I think in a few days, let's say middle of the week, it should be out for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorin says, hey, guys, what salute. is up? Salute, salute. Okay, Mishki, you're a girl, and you say, call me Chris. Chris, okay. okay I would call you Chrissy. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny when people say, yeah, call me this. And then I, sometimes like, okay, <laughs> I would just... yeah, I will not call you that. I'll call you what <laughs> I want to call you now. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, Chrissy. Have you been to your Christmas market? Where do you, whereabouts do you stay? What's the nearest Christmas market to you? Have you been there yet? Come on, time's ticking. It's almost <laughs> going to be Christmas. Come on, guys. Six of you guys in here. Come on, talk to us. Tell us something interesting. Ask us questions. We're all ears. Ah, I think you... Presence. Am I lost? You're still, am I still here, here, but again, your window. Just I am? Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. It seems I am <laughs> still here. What Chrissy asked is, will you do a video with your, present, with your presence for Christmas? <laughs> will you? Will we, we do that? I don't know. We're getting a yeah, bit it's old now. A, like, <laughs> it's not anymore that... By Christmas, by Christmas time, I'll, I'll be 23 years old. David will also be 20. Fine. How old would you be? 21. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20. Yeah, David will be 25, and we. Yeah. Don't really. Yeah, we don't really get Christmas presents. We get a warm handshake of our dads. Like, so there won't be. Any- well done, my son. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back like, oh, this is my hand. It's been shaken. By my father. He said I did a good job. That's my Christmas <laughs> present for this year. Yeah, that's it. That's really <laughs> it. But it's better. 
and spending time yeah so we can actually present that by having a live stream <laughs> yeah on our birthdays that's what we exactly. said today we may have some some exactly. live stream yeah on 23rd and 26th so those are our birthdays and then we may just gonna have something mm -hmm. small for half an hour in those two days yeah so yes. quick hello to you guys for half an hour yeah david db says hello, hello. shout out yes. to you second david, second also david. Came last time mr mario says have you been to the... <laughs> yeah mr mario says have you been to the danube delta not yet um have we road no, trip season we have two. not unfortunately yeah yes, we'll definitely 100%. go definitely definitely it's on our list it's a fantastic place so plants and 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 uh species of animals that you can't find anywhere else so we have yeah, to yeah we will for sure but we haven't for sure. yet for sure we will go there um then prepare chris also asks the bucharest market the Bucharest Christmas market is the closest to me right now, but maybe I'll go there next year or this month. Bless you. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, you should. Thank you very much. You should definitely go um, before Christmas time. Yeah. I think it's, it's best to go to a Christmas market before Christmas yeah. time. Find time maybe in the next two weeks. I don't know how far you live away from Bucharest Christmas market, but it's, it's really cool. It's maybe we've heard word that it's not as good as before COVID time. So I only went to you. Uh, you haven't been to last this one. Year's yeah, Christmas. exactly. It was better than what the, Which I was, was to this one in front trash. of the parliament. It's better than last year's. Uh, like three years yeah. ago, and it was definitely better. Was it more? Yeah, but it's still decent. Oh man, it's I'm still tired. decent. The lights are really good, <laughs> and they have, <laughs> they have, um, <laughs> they have some kids singing carol songs and stuff like that. And they also. play the World so, Cup on the big yeah. stage. Everyone was just watching football. So yeah. <laughs> Just, so just go go at a time if you're interested in the World Cup go at a time yeah. where you can watch the game just stand that was there. ridiculous man <laughs> honestly <laughs> Every, yeah honestly. that was crazy man <laughs> yeah that was insane okay uh, okay Mishki says preparation uh, Christmas preparation we don't really do uh, in my family at least I don't really have many Christmas we don't do much Christmas preparations um you know yeah there's not much preparing to do so it won't be a very interesting video yeah, at I all i don't think so either for us it's more you know for i think for us it turns so much around the belief and like the real sense of christmas the other stuff we actually celebrated that beforehand when we were young of course it's part of it especially in germany and my grandparents they just loved it so we always did a lot of stuff but now it's really mm -hmm. just being together and um yeah, really concentrating and being happy about actually, um, yeah, w w about this special day. Yeah, <laughs> like what? Like, are you? Have you guys ever made like biscuits and stuff? Hello, biscuits. Yeah, yeah. Now your back as a small frame. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah guys we are so sorry honestly it's 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 yeah it's a it's a mess but it's actually not us doing anything it's just by itself i think it's a lot for our computers to handle like like you guys know we are still students and we yeah try our best to to upgrade the gear in every single way we can do it but yeah <laughs> we are not there yet fully yeah not not just yet uh Chrissy also asked, yeah, we're both born in December. Mine is the 23rd. David's is the 26th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gang, now, gang, gang. Uh, David gang. number two. <laughs> December gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> David number two asks, have you been to Crayova? I'm, I'm going there tomorrow for the Christmas festival or whatever it's called. Yep. Um, it's probably the most memed Romanian city. Yes, we've seen loads of the <laughs> memes uh, from Crayova. Yeah. Sword, fence, <laughs> kind of town. Apparently, yeah. but no, we've never been. No. But we really do want to go. Yes. Uh, we know a couple of people who are in there, um, and yeah, we want to visit m most of the main cities and also the main um, touristic places or yeah. cool places that you should actually visit in Romania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, uh, Miriam asks, 
no, Mariam says that's true. I agree Qatar is so tiny. It's insane how they even got the approval. I think it's wild. No stadiums were built. Yeah. And Qatar City is this, is the size of Qatar the country is the size of a city. It's how do you have that many stadiums in there? Yeah. The traffic for think, you guys must th- be insane I, at I the moment. I think they had a very, very good application to actually get the... Yeah. <laughs> application. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, come on. We don't have to be around the bush. But it des- destroys the sport, unfortunately. We are we are both huge soccer fans. I'm joking. <laughs> ah, they're too late. Come on, don't flex on us. <laughs> application he's flexing on us <laughs> Who do we want some lay yeah we are very very huge oh, soccer fans of David then. soccer yeah. all the way no, we're big football fans and we are a bit sad that yeah the whole I mean it's always about the demand and doesn't matter what that pays people's that is actually not something we are complaining about it's not like yeah they shouldn't earn as much but we know that on the other hand it's destroying the sport because the people just do it for the money and all of that stuff. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. Um, It is very sad. Too, he says, hi, bros. Hello, back. How are you doing? Where are you right now? From where are you tuning in? Then David, my birthday is also in December. That's great. I think think December is like... Shout out to you, December gang. what, What day in December? It's funny because I think December is the day where most people have had been born like over time really or spring maybe time. because nine, nine months okay let's say spring. nine months springtime yeah <laughs> makes sense makes sense december's just gone christmas has just gone the weather's feeling good now now we can get you know, some no, stuff in like, the oven it's like this like prepared after, for after, like, after the women did like all the christmas stuff and whatever they're like new year's like oh fuck then they need like a month of rest and whatever and then they're like uh, okay no no i'm ready I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm ready. Let's get done. Let's... Yeah, and then... Let's get down. Let's get Let's those get nine months of just craziness. <laughs> of pure pain. <laughs> yeah, but it's also, it has to be crazy, man. It's yeah. really a miracle. Um, then LMAO. Yes, the, appli- what the, the application was very generous. And yes... It is the traffic. Uh, the traffic is horrible, and the metro is filled. But the nice thing is that the atmosphere. Everyone is so friendly here, and the energy is high. Yes, that is true. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe Father can tell more about the metro because he he's the, the only peasant like here in the stream. Like um, maybe <laughs> peasant. Uh. How dare you, <laughs> a non lines <laughs> non licensed wielder. <laughs> Call me a peasant. Um, yeah, the metro must be insane. I, I can I can just imagine how the metros because the metros over here in the morning are just wild. Um, but for you guys, it's, it must be all day because there's been matches from twelve um, through to three, then to late at night. It must be insane. I would not want to be living in Qatar at the moment with. With all these stadiums and all these uh, tourists coming in to just watch matches. It's, it's not ideal. Yeah. Why didn't you guys consider the Netherlands as a studying destination? I'm Romanian that moved to the Netherlands. Um, we actually were just looking for a place where we can actually study for cheap. Um, and also can just get inside. That was main priority. And then Romania was actually the place that, yeah we caught up and also in the Netherlands living close to to it as a German also uh, where I was born it's not it's not my vibe kind of I don't know I never once yeah. thought about the Netherlands I think it's cool to yeah. visit but that's it yeah Amsterdam was very cool on yeah. a short trip um then Vicky too is saying I'm from uh, from Mioveni in Romania. Where is that? You have to explain us. I I've n- I've never heard of Mioveni. Yeah. Never in my life. Me either. Have you been to any of your football stadiums to watch the game so far? Of our football stadiums. Yes. 
any of the uh, our of ah, our yeah, he's of talking course. about Romania yeah, she's talking about Romania to, yeah uh, the national stadium in Bucharest we had been to Sweden against yeah. Romania and the Euro qualifiers before the last Euros um mm -hmm. I think I think you haven't been there I was at the um, the Bucharest derby Stewa against Dynamo I was fucking no, Pokemon never been there. it was crazy like they threw like like pepper grenades into our block and just everyone was just like coughing and the eyes were just bro it was wild trust me <laughs> i was just like what the hell is going on and and my friends who come just from a rough area in, Bel in berlin they were just laughing and had the greatest time and i was just like yo i need to get fucking out of here i just left the stadium before the game ended because they were even they were already waiting outside man the other fans and the police had to stop them and i was like yo <laughs> this is wild yeah it's a bit wild and we had been to the other stairwell like the proper stairwell bucharest what was it? No, wait, mm -hmm. in their new stadium, but we watched uh, Romania against yeah, yeah. Greece. Yeah. Yes. It was fun. There we had our first vlog, actually, we filmed there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, then Mariam is saying, but wouldn't you say the competition is higher at your university from uh, when you first applied? Yes. For yes. sure. Yes. For competition sure. just. I think we, we, we actually caught like a lucky window, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the competition has skyrocketed since the past four years okay. that we've been here. Um, and it will only start to increase because the level of education here is increasing year on year. Man. The quality of universities is increasing. The, um, also, the amount of universities in Eastern Europe that can give this quality like quality of education yeah. is decreasing as you know that there's the ukraine crisis yeah. going on at the moment which means that russia is out of the picture for a lot of people ukraine is out of the picture for standing as well which only leaves like kind of romania hungary and yeah. bulgaria and romania is by far the most affordable of those options which is why um, it's going to only continue yes. to increase but if you are looking for a place to study medicine or dentistry or anything else in English or French, there are 55. Do you know that? There are 55 other subjects that you can study yeah. in Romania apart yeah, Romania from medicine and dentistry in, in English. Really, it really, really does. And it offers a fantastic education for everyone. So if you are looking for Just a place to study, yeah. um, hit us up, email us, go on our website, book a call. Um, message us through any kind of avenue yeah. and we'll respond to you and we'll help you guys get a yes, place as yes, well yes that's really no problem um then wiki to he it's a small city close to pitest where they make Dutch cars. Mm. whoa okay then maybe we might have yeah, we may have yeah, passed yeah. by it yeah not realized yeah. interesting yeah, Dacia is cool. I like Dacia. It's a vibe, you know. I was actually... Yeah, yeah was it's a vibe. Looking, like Dacia, Dacia Dasta. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, wow, the chat. Mariam says, yeah, living in Qatar right now is crazy right now. It's crazy how much has changed since I first moved it. When did you move there? Uh, and where did you move there from? Now, Relodium... It's a crazy name, Reloadium. Yeah. It sounds reload and you've added, you've mixed an element in there. Wow. Um, Reloadium says, have you guys visited Sanaya by any chance? Yes. Yes. Have you? Have I? I haven't. Yeah, no. I, I, have. I was skiing there. It was insane. I was so impressed, really. We're going to do that soon, maybe as well. Film a little skiing video. We actually have another video, which is honestly a bang. It's going to be a banger. Like, it's going to be a sick video to watch. Yeah. Stay tuned. From now on, our channel grew crazy fast, but this is, trust us, this is just the beginning. Like, where we are right now, people already bring us attention and want us to do cool stuff in Romania, and they also want to help us do collaborations. But what is going to come, it's going to be insane. Trust us. Like, yeah. The yeah. proper first non-medical study videos was seven months ago. That's when we actually proper started the YouTube. And yeah, we'll see where this will lead to. But at least for you guys, it's going to be awesome content. It, has, it will be in. Yeah, for sure. You're, you're in yeah. for a fantastic yes. ride. Um, then Mariam is saying, how would you say I can best prepare myself for applying to your uni? 
talked to Forza last time, but I'm still scared. Uh, I think the first thing is you shouldn't be scared. You should just trust in yourself, into your knowledge, into what you can mm -hmm. do and what you are capable of. Um, that's actually the same mentality that we also took on uh, when we started this journey. Secondly, just do the, the, the basic uh, basic things and have fun actually revising it. Just go through your notes, go through the books. And um, yeah, that that is really the best you can do. And yeah. Otherwise, if you're still in school, just give the best now, you know, because of course people always think like, ah, oh, now I give everything and then I have to again six years. But those six years studying is something different. You know, you are by yourself, having yeah. friends, you're preparing really for life and it's more fun. So school, I can say as well, it can be really tiring, but push through. And after that, it's going to be a different kind of revising. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. We'll have as many calls as you need, yeah. Mariam, for you to feel comfortable. Um, but I mean, you're doing very well. I, I know who you are. Now that you said you've had a call, I know who you are. Um, you're doing very well. Just continue on doing very well. Um, and yeah, we should definitely be able to get you yeah. a place for sure. As, as we said yeah. during the call. Um, then uh, Mishiki is saying that's why the medical... Ah, Chrissy. Chrissy, sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> That's why the medical university increased the annual price. Uh, yes, part of that and also Brexit, I think, and other things. Like in general, the documents are harder to issue now since uh, it's not anymore. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, those things. And of, I think, of course, they want to put up a bit more. Comp they need some kind of medium to separate. But still, for everyone who's worried or as long as you can somehow manage to pay that, do it. It's an investment it's not an investment for life. It's it's more than that. I don't know how to say it. It's it's insane. It's I always tell the people who are studying with us who we have this opportunity. I don't. It, everyone's different. Like some people can actually some work before they came here for the, to have money that they saved up to study. Some uh, yeah have the parents who who fucking work hard to to afford it to to send their kids here. What, doesn't matter what option you have. I always say this is better than a winning lottery. Like becoming a doctor and have the option, if you like it, of course. It's not only about it's not about the money in itself, but if you have the option to do something you love and then also earn good, is better for me than a lottery win. That's what I say. What I say, what I say, being a doctor or a dentist specifically. Let's go with those two professions. It, they are anti-poverty investments lifetime anti-poverty yeah. investments if you enjoy being a doctor or a dentist you and you invest in your education to become one officially you will never ever in your life ever be yeah. poor never yeah, doesn't ever. Matter. and also so make sure that you yeah. love what you do that you love to be a doctor you like to be, be a doctor or a dentist there. otherwise you will quit you will quit first you will quit yeah. there's no there's no way you will revise and then, all of that stuff and have those months and months of revising and then it's i can't imagine it like it's it's impossible yeah so make sure first of all that you, it is something that you feel comfortable doing for the rest of your life um and once you are comfortable with that decision just know and keep it in the back of your head if you're ever thinking about how much you have to invest in terms of uh tuition and things like that or in terms of time as well. People often think about how long it takes to become a doctor or a dentist. Just know that for the rest of your life, you will never ever be poor. You will never be out of a job, no matter what happens, whether it's World War Three, World War Four, <laughs> World War 67, you will never ever be out of a yeah. job. There will always be room for dentists and doctors and yeah. you will always have a and roof over your head. that's also something I want to tell everyone. They're cool jobs, like also, who knows where this journey goes with with YouTube and filming and live streaming, whatever. I think that both of us wouldn't do that without having the safety behind us. Because in the yeah. end, it's something if you work with people, it, it's a different kind of thing. You you it's it's it is definitely more fulfilling. Nevertheless, as long as times are like now, everything is fine. You can live your creative lifestyle and have fun. But and that's my advice that also in our family, we were taught as kids, do at least one job that you can do in doesn't matter what times. And that is fulfilling. And if you did one, 
you can still do something else you can become a software engineer but if you only do that it's it, yeah it's more risky yeah let's say it like that it's up to you but it's more risky okay um ba -ba -ba -bum. yeah Mariam says, well, I'm from Iraq and I was born in Qatar, but then lived in Iraq for a bit Wait, and then skipped. moved back to Qatar. Honestly, yes. did I? No. Uh, yeah, you told you before in our call, oh, okay. but my favorite is Tito. I absolutely love how their course looks for dentistry, especially since it's very practically based. It okay. is insane. Yeah. That's what I can tell you. I'm in my... F with a new building yes and wow. i'm in my fifth year and i'm 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 treating every single week i had since middle of october till now i had minimum two patients per week that's what i don't know in germany they do five patients in the whole time of university i had i i, I don't know i can't describe you guys it's 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 awesome it's just so 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 cool and it's so fun and it's motivating and whatever yeah i love it yeah um I, David is saying, I love your live streams. They are really chill. Thank you so much. Um, we hope you guys like the vibe that we are giving. We're just, I, I mean, we're just having our basic conversations, actually. Yeah, with you guys yes. joining in. Uh, now, Vicky says, they made a city around the Dacia factory before it was a village. So it's, okay. It's, it's the Romanian, right. yeah, the Dacia's Romanian uh, Wolfsburg. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, now we're back to the comment yes. that I that I read. Mariam says, I'm from Iraq. I was born in Qatar, but I moved to Iraq for a bit. I moved back to Qatar. Honestly, I want to leave. Um, such bad universities here are very expensive. That's why I want to go to Romania. Well, come over here. If, if Qatar is too expensive, come over here to Romania and you'll have a fantastic time. If you need any help with yeah. anything, then and, we are the people yeah, that you Romania have to contact great. for that. Like it's it's such I don't know I don't you know the funny thing is always when people actually left their main countries I was always looking at them like uh, like they are just like special but now as we are one of those I I fully get all of them I'm like yo you have to just look further than what you're used to and then you will see you know what is actually the best option for you because there is not one mm. one thing that works for everyone you have to see what you like what you would you know like. Those people, oh, okay, I can I can match with them because I'm pretty sure if I would go to Scandinavia, that, bro, for me it would be a big no, no. But I know a lot of people who would like blow up there. Yeah, yeah, but Romania is a place where you always feel comfortable. I think it's it's a place where there's all different types of people and yes. you'll feel very comfortable yeah. over here. Sebi says hello, hello shout out to you, Sebi. Hello. Uh, Alexandru Christian Zamfir says, Salut, am a boy to Chiva and Treba. Astazi and Turgu de Creation, Daka Fachet's vlog. Ah, okay, okay, remember you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you, I remember you. He's saying that for anybody who doesn't speak Romanian, he's saying that he's the one that you speak. No, no, no. I think is someone is a boy that we asked a question. Maybe. What did we ask da. you? Tell Alexandru, us. What did we ask you? Because you're saying. Uh, yeah. Uh, what did we ask you? The a first mult person asked no mult are to no a first single person a first my mult person to na entrebat che noi facem la la chineest. Ma. Max, the turtle says, so after you finish faculty, are you going to leave Romania? No. <laughs> no, we're not. Hopefully not. No. Golden Mosquito says, hello, yeah. shout out to you, Golden Mosquito. Yeah, that is something that we want to do. Uh, he also asked, have you ever thought about what's going to happen to your YouTube channel after you finish university? Uh, yes, we have. But as we just said, we plan to specialize yeah, then we here. Then we at least, like... Hopefully we can make it yeah. so big that we can really, yeah. In the future, if we, yeah, if we leave Golden Mosquito, <laughs> we can give it to you. <laughs> yeah, we will. You yeah. make it big but for we us. Not, we are not one of those people like most of our colleagues who just 
uh, study. I mean, we we actually don't judge them. You know, that's how it is. They leave good money to Romania, to everyone. Because I hear some Romanians saying like, uh, they just come here, rob our country. No, it's not. It's great. And it's a great way mm. for a country to earn. For example, Germany is just letting everyone study for free. <laughs> Very stupid. Um, so, yeah, they pay their money, they leave. But for us, it's, yeah, we fell in love with the country. And, yeah. So we're going to see where life is leading us. Like, you know, we we are also now in the age where it can just happen that we meet a nice girl who's suddenly from Brazil and we're just gone. Like, who knows? Brazil, know. Brazil, know. Yeah. Brazil. It will, it will show, but for now it looks like we're going to specialize here. Yeah. Uh, to Christian says, this is Mulvaney, guys. What is Mulvaney, guys? What did you say? Marianne says... That's amazing, honestly, David. Hearing you experience, hearing your having. Oh, let me start again. Mariam says that's amazing, honestly, David. Having experience with patients is so valuable to your advancement as a dentist. I'm happy yeah. for you. She's you happy so for much. you, David. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. I think it is the main thing for jobs where you work with people. Like I was also for like already like three years i was doing tooth cleanings and that helped mm. so much because you are in the beginning so nervous you don't know how to, to do stuff you know to be comfortable doing your work in front of others because if you program something you just talk with others with the customers but then you go back and do it alone but you have to work in front of them and they will see what you're doing whatever mm. and that actually was the best I could do for three years. It was pretty boring. Every day the same for like one hour, the same. Then the second patient, the same one hour. Then the third, fourth, fifth lunch break. After that, three again. Then you wake up next morning, five people. I always say, I was really like it. And the evening was like, yo, this was rough. But after that, I think it's a rough, it's a good lesson. You always have to sm start small. And after I did that, I was like, yeah, cool. Now, being in uni and just being comfortable doing my thing, you know, it's it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, but, uh, that's honestly amazing. But, but kind of thief says, why does Ford look so good? <laughs> why does Ford look so good? Chica. I don't know. It's, oh, it's yeah, my yeah. genetics. You've got to blame. It's <laughs> What's all those words? <laughs> yeah, it's my parents, man. It's my parents, man. They look awesome. They look better than me. True, true. Um, <laughs> hey, Ba says, really adore the effort you guys put into sharing info and helping other students. I'm an international student studying biochemistry in Romania. It would be great to have more in students yeah, to come here. Cool. Yes. Good for you. Where, that would where be very are you? awesome. That's what we're trying to that do. That would be interesting to hear. And how do you like it so far? I think yeah, Romania is uh, known for being good in chem uh, chemistry. I'm pretty sure. That that great. Yes, uh, yes, it is. How it is. Are you it is. It is. English? Chem 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 chemists. Yeah. Chemists. And they also found, I think, also the. What was it actually? I think one. Uh, there was any medication. I forgot which one that a Romanian found. It was one of the best inventions. Yeah, there was one. There was one, but I don't. I don't remember which one. I know. I know that. There was one. It was some pain medications. You guys, I'm pretty sure you're going to know that. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? First person in the chat, who knows when the Lamborghini? Come on. <laughs> First person. Insulin. Insulin. Yeah. Insulin. Yeah. There we go. Mihai. Also, Mihai says insulin. Also, what I, that's what I liked also when, I, when coming here. And I also love that the Romanians claim it for them. They all say, in the interview, also some people said it, we are very clever and intelligent. I think, yes, that is true. And Romania puts education very high and in a very healthy level. Like, I don't like countries who say, education yeah. is important. If my kids take drugs and whatever, I don't care as long as the grades are good. No. But Romania has, like, a very healthy relation to education. And, um, yeah, I really, really like that. Also, for one... Um, uh, technique of anesthesia. It was also a Romanian doctor who actually invented it, which is cool. And all the all the professor really? was so proud to tell us about it. <laughs> but it's it's cool, man. <laughs> and you you should be proud of it for sure. Definitely. Um, Definitely. Yeah. So Christian says, "Do you know what Forza Stay One yeah. means in Romania?" Yes, it means. Let's Come go. on or let's go. Stay well. Stay well is a Stay team, well um, football team. We actually, yeah. 
Forza we, means strength or come on. Yeah. Like. We actually, What'd when, you say? when I just think about the stairwa, we, yeah, you guys should also check out our second channel, Romania Live, for everyone who does know, we have a second channel, where it's more long-time content. Mm -hmm. And we actually filmed two podcasts. There's also a podcast, video podcast, as well on Spotify and on Amazon Music and on Apple Podcasts. You can just check it out. And we actually had two guests and one of them, um, not to take too much information, but he was, he is a stereo pro. He was visiting us in the in the podcast. So check that out. We don't say more. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, then Miski is saying, wow, 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 wow. Germany is letting people study for free. Where? What universities? Everything. <laughs> yeah, basically, in Germany, studying is for free. It's paid by the tax money. So you only pay like a small fee for, for like, yeah, keeping everything clean, whatever. It's like 100 euros per, per semester. And not only, I thought it's just for the German people, but I think also for people who come from abroad. So, and it, it, there is no limit. So if I just decide to study till I'm 35, I just do that for free. Um, yeah, some people for everyone come from outside and some in the country, it's great, but I think it's not a good system because you should at least have some kind of small price that everyone can pay, but on the other hand, keeps you uh, studying instead of just messing around. Yeah. Edward, hello, how are you doing? Edward, you have a cool name. I had a Romanian in my school class. He was also called Edward. Or maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, he was Romanian and he doesn't even know now I speak Romanian. I'm living in his country. You know, it's so weird. Like if, it w if I will ever meet him or he will see a video, man, that will be, that will be sick. <laughs> man, you need to find him. You need to find his contact details yeah. and, and chat to him. I'm sure he will love... The videos. Muism, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, okay. What's up, the, me? Old, Hi. The, the guys are all coming in. I see it. I see it. Ali also. <laughs> what yeah, yeah, your parents yeah. said after watching your trip to Roma uh, in Romania, especially about the last episode. Man, I haven't even spoken with my parents about that. I have not. I have, I have not. You know, so with our parents, like they, I think with David's parents, they speak more about the stuff that no. we do. But with mine, they just watch what I do, just silently and just like. Not. That's really yeah. mine. Yeah. Also not my da my dad. I think, I think like your mom is watching all the videos for sure. Yes, my dad as sure. well, and he's always doing comments. I think those are we have. I think the three craziest fans are your dad, uh, mm -hmm. your mom, my, mom. my dad, and my grandmother. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she's yeah, watching yeah. every video. She knows everything. She's watching everything. She's even sometimes saying like, "Hey, yo, you forgot to put the subtitles and stuff." Like she's she knows everything. She knows everything. Yeah, you may yeah. you may see her as well next year. I may travel with her because she's still very young, and mm -hmm. that content would be uploaded on on my personal channel. Oh my goodness! This <laughs> yeah, it's also linked on our main channel. There's nothing up there yet, but there are just gonna sometimes. I yeah, just for myself and for people who are interested. Yeah, but I when we maybe meet our families Christmas, we can ask them about the trip, what they think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'll be a awesome Ali, to do that. Buna sera, good evening, good abend. That is a that. Wow, that's fantastic! That fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, All the languages great. in there. Yes. I want next time. Next time, Ali, you got to yeah. add some French in there for my for my Cameroon and <laughs> some French today, well. No, it's no. That's <laughs> cool. I like that. I like that. Yeah, Miriam. Yes, I agree yeah, sure. with. Um, at high, but where was Heiba. that? Um. If it wasn't for you guys, I would have set my plan for Romania and I wouldn't have enough, uh, even thought of applying actual. And now it's my main plan. Thank you guys. What? Do, I don't get it. For studying, um, she wouldn't have planned to come to Romania. Yeah, that's great. That's very good. Yeah, everybody also is, is saying insulin, insulin. Mihai was the first person to say it, but shout out yeah. to you, Ali. And to Christian, who says as well, Edward says, have you ever been to the Tans yes, Fagrashan? Yes, check out the videos, my friend. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Come on, on our on our YouTube page, Edward, we have... I don't know if you're the Edward from David's hometown no, or come not. On. If you are, <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. But if you're not, anyway, we have a full 12 episode. Is it yes, 12 episodes? 12-episode road, road, trip. road trip series where we went to Sibiu, uh, Orshova, 
Timishwara, Oradia, Transfagarashan. We also went to uh, Maramuresh. Went to everywhere. Yeah. So go check it out on our YouTube page. Um, you will yes. not be disappointed. It Maybe you guys awesome. can write inside. Hey, first thing, you guys are just great. I just realized we have cre we have 24 people inside, which is insane. Yes. <laughs> 24 people. Guys, you are awesome, honestly. Every single person of you. Yeah, give this a, give this a like. For the amount of people that's in here and enjoying the second of December, come on, guys, give this video a like. Uh, thank you guys so much for being in here and interacting with us. I love, I love our community. It's awesome. You guys are the best, really. I'm, I'm not joking here. It's just so much. We get so, we get bombarded with love all the time, like, uh, and that keeps yeah. us going, for sure. And we also, if you guys ever would see us or meet, today we were just thinking, would be so funny to, to just see you guys. Like, like if you, you can just tell yeah. us, like, especially the ones who are always showing up, we know your names. And we said, we're going to write a list. We make that in the future. We're going to write a list and write down all of the people who always show up and make them our private, because one day maybe there are those super fan stuff and whatever, but these are our private, proper fans, like the, the, the hardcore ones. And one day we're going to set up something for you, for sure. Like, there's no doubt. This is, yeah. For sure. You're always there. Um, yes. So, um, where are we? Uh, Dun Golden Mosquito. Dynamo. Oh, no. BDSM. <laughs> no, not BDSM. What the <laughs> BSM. <laughs> <laughs> uh, BSM says Dynamo. Okay, you're yeah. a Dynamo fan. Okay, we won't say too much. We won't <laughs> say too much. Yeah, what are we? We're just success fans. So. <laughs> yeah. Whoever has the most money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plastic fans, yeah. that's what you can call us. Yeah. Um, Golden Mosquito says, I feel, or I felt, yeah, I felt like you guys, I feel like you guys do a better job at promoting Romanian universities and the country overall than we Romanians do. Also, the way that you see things about Romania brings a lot of, of much needed positivity. I think, yeah, I, I think, you know what? You don't, don't give you guys, don't, give yourselves such a hard time you know when you're living in a country and you're used to the place maybe you're born there you've been there for your whole of your lives sometimes it's hard for you guys to see outside of your own romanian yes. brain to see how awesome the country is which is why you, you need foreigners like us to come in yes. and actually tell you guys that look it's crazy crazy or tell yes. other people that look it's crazy and then you guys will start to fall in love much more with the country that you're staying in um but Hopefully, by our, watching our videos, you can it can help you to um, reform the love that you've had with your country and also maybe explore some places that you've never been to. We've had loads of Romanians come up to us and tell us that, look, I've never been to that place and I actually want to go yes. there now that you've been. Um, and also, you guys can start doing videos or start uh, talking to other, your other Romanian friends, family about different places um, that you've seen um, to maybe revitalize the kind of love that there is for this amazing country. Uh, so hopefully we, we've done a good job in starting that. That's all that we want to do. We want to show Romania. Um, we want to show the true face of Romania and not this uh, nonsense face that loads of people see from yeah. outside yeah, of Europe. Sure. That's actually true. That is, I think, very important. And I think always people from outside can show you. It's like everything in life. Like sometimes you think, oh, my life is so bad or this mm -hmm. is not good, whatever. And then someone has to come and tell you, like, look, It could, it uh, firstly it could be worse. Secondly, it's it's actually good. See yeah. the good things and season them. We were also talking about it. You know, I would rather. Actually, no. I would. The best thing that can happen to you as a young person, especially as a young person, is living in a country that is not right now the country. Like if if you are the country, everyone is coming already. Everyone is investing already. Everyone is putting ideas down already. But the thing is, you have to see the potential before it's actually there and that is something that we see in romania we're just like look this country is is empty yeah. right now like in terms of business wise whatever now is the time to mm -hmm. start small things and they will become very big in the future and romania is for sure one of those countries and it doesn't matter who we speak to they all like the people who, who who read about or whatever they all say like yes romania is actually one of those countries it's the fastest growing in the european union for years that is 10 times better mm -hmm. than being in a country like germany where everything is present everyone is so yeah everyone knows everything better the people are very proud on themselves very like 
let's say also a bit arrogant to be honest like you know like it's like that and then you come to romania i was not expecting that the doctors are just awesome they're not like treating you like second class they're just like they want to teach you they want to educate you yeah the people who do business they want to teach you want to help you and you don't need this kind of access pass to actually go there like half a million like whatever they just yeah. help you so think like that. And now is the time to build. And that's also what we want to do. Motivate Romanians. Start now. Do something. Like we just started this. Like one day to the other, we just started. Now is the time. Why not? It's fun. Mm-hmm. Trust me. If you have something. Um, yes. Madara is in the chat. Uchiha Madara. Oh, what's up? He says, have you ever been to Fugarash? I really recommend it because it's a really nice fortress. It's a very nice fortress with a medieval museum. We've no, never been to Fagadash. No, Where is Fagadash? Yeah. yeah, never been. Um, Ali says, "We, what kind of French stuff do you prefer? Some Moulin <laughs> Rouge? How would you like French? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Ali, you are one of the funniest people in our chat. I, no, you are the funniest person in our chat. No, I'm Cameroonian. So, I mean, I'm from the French part of Cameroon. So, when you address us when you say hello when you say uh guten abend when you say uh uh buna sera i want you all to say i want you also to say <laughs> bonsoir please do it for my <laughs> french part yeah um it's it's so weird now, actually we have uh, basically the only thing that is missing in our like we have so many different like parts that especially as the duo where like you know it's just weird it's just wild yeah <laughs> english german french arabic yeah and uk and romania on top of that oh, yeah, yeah but that's english, english. Yeah, true. yeah it's 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 wild um yeah pc format says though bukovina is worth visiting yep we will for sure I go just, to Bukovina. I just always drink the water sure. and it's awesome. I like it. <laughs> it's my favorite <laughs> one. Because the bottles are so soft, you can just press them and then you just afterwards like... <laughs> you just throw them. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let's uh, bring this live. We have to actually bring it to an end. So we're going to read out the last comments. We and do. Then unfortunately, we also have to go to bed and rest. We filmed today. The food review on the Christmas market in Bucharest, a small food tour. It was actually pretty fun. It was freezing cold, but of course, before and we dress up warm and we were actually looking themed in our countries, which was actually funny. People were really staring at us. <laughs> yeah, they were. They were for sure. Okay, let's 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 whiz through the last comments. Um, Google says, "Did you say BDSM?" Yes, I thought I thought his name was B, but it was just BSM. Um, Reloadium. <laughs> Reloadium says now serious question how many Romanian hearts have you turned have you guys broke? broke that's not a serious question <laughs> I, yeah I zero, zero. If, I'm, if I'm being honest yeah I'll say uh, we, will, we know? Know. will we know will we know Christian how do you know yeah I don't know how, yeah. how do we know how do we know <laughs> um, Turk Christian says uh, you like the fact that Romania is not a PC country yes what is PC sure. PC, uh, politically correct. Yeah, what means politically correct? They are fucking politically correct by being just how you should be. The rest is fucking political <laughs> incorrect. Like, <laughs> like I don't know what they are doing. They they are politically overcorrect. Like what Germany is doing right now. I don't know what they are doing. Like now changing our whole grammar to 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 not being sexist. Like yeah, we don't go into that. But trust me, this is pissing me off, and the people have no problems, and that's why they go into it. Man, that's when I come to Romania, you know, and then I go, I go back to Germany this summer and everyone's talking about bullshit. And I'm just sitting there, look, I have people sleeping in front of my fucking door without having food, asking me nicely for some food or for some drinks without, not money for drugs, they ask me for food, like they are starving. And those people yeah. kind of, like, mm, oh, the people have to say like now, we have to change our national anthem because we women, we are fucking uh, discriminated. Like, yo, like, chill out a bit, like, you know. It's it's crazy, trust me. Like those countries they just have no problems and that's why they search their own problems. <sighs> Madeline that GM says, good. Hello, love you guys. No <laughs> home. <laughs> that, that was you let that out. You feel good yes, now. Yes, that had to go come out. <laughs> Madeline GM says, Hello, I love you guys, no yeah. homo. 
Why do you have to add no homo? No, that means it was homo. <laughs> it was homo. Madeline. Madeline no, it's no homo, man. Homo we, are, we are men and we can, we can just, you know, it's brotherhood. <laughs> That's how it is. Yeah, you can love each other, no problem. Yes. We're brothers. Mihai says, I left Romania because I hated it. I used to hate it. Two years, two years later, I'm fed up with the West. I cannot wait to come back on the holidays yes, in a few days. Yes, come yeah, back. Welcome back, Mihai. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Edward says, the mountain for Garash. We yes. will definitely go. If it's a mountain, I'm up it. Maryam says, Cameroon. What the hell? No way. Did Cameroon... Are you no through? Way. Are you through then? No, 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 oh, no. no. Uh, okay, Switzerland won. We won one nil. Abu oh, Bakr Shakiri. Shakiri scored against the next minute. Shakiri <laughs> scored against Serbia, you know. He scored and then he got sent off the next minute. Really? So he did the eagle then? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, no, okay. Abu Bakr scored. I, I thought that, that Shakiri got sent off, but that would mean he did like something politically incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I was actually also for. I mean, Switzerland's cool, but not this what they are doing with the like the Albanians against the Serbians. I don't like that. Especially because Serbia, yeah. they are the bros. Okay, now Ali says, bro, one of my exes from Cameroon, small, the world is small. The world is very tiny. We met some people that we met last last year today in the Christmas market as well, and, and they said that the world is tiny. We do agree. Valentin says, hello. Shout out to you, Valentin. Mihai says, Fagadash is midway between Brashov and Sibiu. Okay, it's not so far. We will definitely find our way there. Um, hello, PC format. Elena says, hello. Hello, Elena. Uh, Man Prosi says, oh, okay, shout out to you. Hello, big team. How are you all doing? I see Forza celebrating the victory of Cameroon with the traditional <laughs> yeah. African clothes. I did not even plan this. Yeah. I did not even plan this. We haven't yeah. watched the game at all. I watched like 20 seconds of it. It was nil-nil and we just got told that we're, we've won. Um, yeah, shout out to you. Hopefully, we, I see that you've graduated. Congratulations on your graduation. Um, yeah, amazing, amazing thing. You've got a, a great profession and a whole career yes. ahead of you right now. Shout out to Myron Prossi if you guys want to watch videos of, of, um, of another student yes. who's actually studying here. The thing is, yes. is that he's in French. Yes. So if you're French speakers, head over to his channel. Yes. He's in here. Um, yeah, fantastic guy. Ali's, okay, Edward says, Avec vous serez bonne, je la fais pour tout voir. Um, Ali says, 27 okay, people in here. Like, guys, what's going on, team. man? Like, the people are just going crazy. You guys are just <laughs> insane, man. Have a great night. Much respect. Shout out to you. And you can tell in the messages, yeah. man. Not like, we secret. can't even follow. Like, you guys are just like... Tuk, 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 tuk. No, you guys are going crazy. Um, Relodium says, brilliant. Uh, One Strio says, did you guys visit Timisoara yet? Mate, what is your name? One Strio. Watch our, yes. our road trip. Our road trip series. We went to Timisoara. It was, a, it was our last... Was it our last? No, yes. second to last destination. It was a penultimate destination. Yeah. Watch our channel. Come on. It's amazing. Uh, Madeline says, what do you think? I want to move to, Bu I want to move to Bucharest at 17 years old to, for business opportunities. You need to find something to do. What do you yes. want to do? 17, you're very young. You are very, very young. Um, so you need to know yeah. what you're doing here. Don't come here and not <laughs> doing drugs or, or mixing in with the wrong yeah. crowd. I'm serious here. You're very young to move by yourself to, main, yeah. to the capital city. My mm -hmm. says, shout out. Thanks, guys. No. Fantastic guy, thank you. Very, thank you very much for the message. Um, and Mihai says 43 likes. What? We, 43 I, I, I likes? think we never, we never hit now. the 40. No, we never. You guys we never are in a live stream. Yeah. Man, you guys are so awesome. 30 people watching right now. You guys How are many? fantastic. Shout out to you. 30 people. 26 now. Okay, it's gone down a bit. But you guys, 20, 20 25 that, of that you guys watching right now. Wow. <sighs> You guys are so awesome, but we do have to leave you now. We've been working all day. Yes. We've shot a video, um, came back, and then we've, bed, we've been know? live for like an hour and a bit. I really can't <laughs> wait as well. I'm tired. I'm very tired. Yeah. Very tired. Okay, Madeline, I will t in seven months, I will be working on a, s a skill that will help me not to, yeah. to help me to do this, not to do drugs. Well, hone your skill, invest your money in skills, and uh yeah and education and that help that's you where you should invest your money skills. like oh, if, like some some how you say huh? what's the word called gear if you need any gear invest in that but don't yeah and uh, yeah the skill is more important than the gear in most cases can't yeah 
Rafat says can't yes. wait to be in Romania. Hello, Rafat. We know yes. you. Hello, shout out. We can't wait yes. for you to come as well. Um, Matt Sav says, salute. I'm 18 years old and I just sold my business for just shy of 100K. My parents moved me away from London just after I made this money and I'm currently living in Bacau where there's no social life. Head over. If you're in Bacau, head over to Cluj. Yeah. Head Cluj. over to Cluj or yeah, come down Cluj to Bucharest. Um, you're 18 years old. You just sold your business for 100K. That means you've got many, many more businesses yeah, in sure. you. <laughs> Continue on that grind. Make the next one. Stay away from the ladies. Stay away from the ladies. Head over to the gym. Continue on that grind. Start okay, okay, Andrew, businesses. chill out. Um, and by the time you, <laughs> and by the time you're thirty, you'll be you'll be yeah. killing the game, killing the game of life. Yeah. Honestly, uh, fantastic work, fantastic work you've done, Matt. I'm yeah. very proud of you. Honestly, very very proud of you. Uh, Miriam says good night. Should I move to Bucharest? Yes, move to Bucharest. Uh, Mihai says forty six. Melanie says I bought everything from Adobe. I video edit. Send us some stuff that you do. Yeah, yeah. Also, it. honestly, if you guys deep, deep just tell this, we we are very harsh on the people we are working with, to be honest, and the people need very good skill to actually because we just want it to work. But in the future, we gonna be searching for people who are gonna edit with us and shoot videos with us. So if you know anyone yeah. who is a cameraman or knows how to edit, really knows how to edit, like the person has to be at least on our level or even better um yeah you guys or yeah. someone you know just hit us up yeah we've got to go we've got to go um ali says which last question which one of you is a gynecologist stay away from <laughs> the girl says and stay away from the girls yeah. question mark uh -huh. <laughs> yeah don't okay well i'll say don't chase girls if you're 18 <laughs> years old why are you chasing the girls, girls can't chase stay away bag. from them <laughs> <laughs> chase the bag <laughs> Chase the bag yeah. and then the girls will come. Yeah, you know, you have to, we have to prepare 14, ourselves as young men but, to actually yeah. find the right woman that we want to have for life. That's our mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, yes. guys, it's been lovely. It's been a pleasure. Um, 50 likes on the video. Wow. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Shout out to you guys. Man, what's going um, on? And 27 people just average. Yeah, yeah. It was not even like going like up and then down. And I remember when we did like our, like four lives ago, it was like averaging, like not even 20. Yeah, but this is awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully you guys have yeah. a lovely night. We'll set up Lokota Pento. All of you guys. Um, and um, yeah, we'll see you guys yeah, in the Sunday next live. Scheduled. Probably, and then the yeah. podcast will scheduled be coming out always, as well. You know, the Sunday one is always scheduled at 19 o'clock that will always happen and the ones like now we're just randomly gonna just be there and you guys can join on yes. youtube yes. and on twitch also check out guys check out the second channel trust us it's it's even 10 yes, times better yes, than what yes, we yes. are doing here it's the podcast and um the last one was actually was it the one about misconceptions about romania so we talked about the misconceptions yes. what people think uh, and also if you want i can just show you um uh, 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 um, we of course have our Instagram account, um, which is where we do. Let's put on no disturb. Suddenly, some weird, some of, like my family, some messages drop in. So basically, <laughs> here, can you see? Yes, uh, the quality is bad. Mm -hmm. This is our Instagram account, and there we have like of all the videos that are always coming, we have like. I don't know, like shorts, whatever. This is actually the podcast, if you want to see. And yeah, of everything yeah. else that is just happening there, there I had like a very weird patient in the dental clinic, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just cool. It's like behind the scenes, we upload there regularly, of course. And there you always up to date and the stories are even better. Like there, we just daily put something in and talk to you guys. So check it out. Yeah. Yes. That brings us to the end. Serabuna. She o... Weekend Plukute, she never them la da, 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 da. Dominica. Never them da. Dominica, da. Bine. I don't know how to end this. <laughs>